and God, by his mercy, afflicts us. Man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start making that our advertisement for the church. What do you think? God in his mercy afflicts us. How do you think that will market and brand Calvary Chapel, Pittsburgh to draw them in? Oh, yeah, I want to go to that church. But hear me. If our faith doesn't have the roots and the foundation that it needs, it will not give us the stability and peace and comfort in the midst of the storm. The disciples had grown up around the Sea of Galilee, Galilee, and they had made their living on it. Some of them had. They knew it. They were fishermen. The, the, at least four of them were fishermen, which was a hard occupation in those days. They were not wimps. And there in the boat, crossing this sea in the midst of the night, when the storm came up, they were freaking out. And what they said to Jesus was, don't you even care that we're all going to die? They were saying that because they knew that was what was going to happen because of the circumstance. This was not ungrounded fear. This was real fear. And what was Jesus doing? Sleeping. Sleeping. He knew. He tried. It's not that he just knew what he was going to do. So, yeah, I could put up with this for a while. <laughs> Let's see what they think about this. I'm sleeping while they're freaking out. This will get them. No, it's because he knew his father. And what Jesus said to them was, where's your faith? Oh, you of little faith. Here was a perfect situation for you to put your faith in me and in your fa heavenly father. And, and you didn't even take that. This is an obvious one to have faith. Because what else are you going to do? You can't talk to the wind and the waves and stop them. So what else is there to do? Have faith in God. That He hasn't changed. And whatever happens, whether Jesus stands up and calms the wind and the waves, or whether we go down in the boat, God is God. And His nature has not changed. He is still a loving Father who cares for His own in all situations. And that's the faith. It's not faith. We don't have faith in what God will do. If that's where you put your faith, you're going to be disappointed purposely by God at some point to show you that it isn't about what He does. It's about who he is. And because of who he is, he does certain things. And because of who he is, the things he does are good for us and to us. And because he is who he is, and because we are who we are, we can't see that those things are good for us sometimes. But they are. And the trying of our faith peels away all of the things that get our focus in this world. 